Uh, did you know, did I tell you that I went to Alyssa Milano's wedding? No. I, I think I forgot that you told me oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. I went to Alyssa Milano's wedding because uh, I was a friend of hers back in the days. I was yeah. more of a friend of her brother's, uh, but I was a friend of hers. And back in the days, I used to love the girl. She was a big Bernie supporter. Yeah, she was great. Um, she used to go and fight for water for people in African villages. Yeah. Uh, she was honored by the UN one year for doing that. She was a really down-to-earth people person. But uh, the thing is, fam, and I'll let you go. I'll, I'll start from there. Um, the thing is, is that I don't think she sold out. I think she bought in. I think she bought into the whole CAA, you know, kind of like acting Hollywood as a part mm -hmm. of, you know, the deep state and the establishment. And, you know, we got Jack Ryan. And I think she kind of bought into all that. And plus she had kids. Mm -hmm. And since Trump has a vulgar mouth, I, that feels a little bit like rationalizing. I mean, I think that is selling yeah. out. I mean, it's no, a little definition you. of. I mean, whether you you get bought in or you, I mean, it's the same difference. It, you, it you, is. You buy yeah. into whatever is the you know the the establishment narrative because it's so much easier to be a part of this than go against it. And you know, a lot of people have bought into that. We've seen people go like Joanne Reed, who used to be a huge Bernie supporter, pretty much just. Boop, fall in line and she bought it rachel maddow was another one that used to be more progressive and then she bought into the whole russia gate and all these other things Chris i mean Matthews. it's just it you could go on and on and on Chris but Hayes. i think one of the things that this is why my focus is always economics it's always class war because the reality always. is a lot of these people have <laughs> a lot of these people have um uh like an inability to be in touch with everybody else because they live in an isolated world and in an isolated echo chamber where they only hear what their friends say and they think this is what everybody thinks, but they don't realize like how privileged they are to live like that. I think it's definitely out of touch and I don't think it's limited to Alyssa Milano. It's our politicians, even people, even, even Bernie Sanders, even the Tulsi Gabbards of the world, they, they, they don't see how we really, really will not vote for Joe Biden. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you guys say or do. We are not voting for Joe Biden. And we have every right to do that, especially after being uh, having a rigged election for four years ago and now again. And nobody's really talking about it except a few voices on the left. So um, Alyssa Milano pretty much explained in a podcast why she is still supporting Biden because she's been getting so much backlash from Bernie supporters and other people. Yeah. Uh, not just Bernie supporters for being hypocritical in supporting the Me Too movement and Time's Up and talking about sexual uh, abuse and being an advocate for that and then going around and endorsing a guy who has eight accusations against him. And these accusations are very believable and just just juxtaposing how she was able to rationalize uh, against Kavanaugh and then by the same token, completely ignore or dismiss more so is dismiss is the word what Tara Reid was saying. So let's hear a little bit of that. So I believe that um, even though we should believe women and that is an important thing and what that statement really means is like. You know, for so long, the the go-to has been not to believe them. So yeah. really, we have to sort of societally ch change that mindset to believing women. But that does not mean at the expense of not, um, you know, giving men their due process and, and investigating like situations. I like um, that. And, and giving, you know... It, it, it's got to be it's got to be it's got to be fair in in both directions okay so you know i've been very vocal about um uh biden and my support for for him i've known him for a long time and um i did do my due diligence due diligence because part yeah. of it was that um and the the article that sort of stood out to me was that times up uh, decided not to take the case, uh -huh. um, and so you know that was I important to you. That that I meant did, well, maybe there's more to this story here. Right, I did my work, and I and I spoke to Times Up, and I just don't feel comfortable throwing away a decent man that I've known for 15 years. Yep. Um, in this in this time of complete chaos, without there being. Um, a thorough investigation. Yeah. I'm sure that, um, 
mainstream media would be jumping all over this um, as well if, if you know, if they we weren't in a pandemic. Uh, oh, or yeah, if there was more, something... if there was more credible, if there was evidence you know, if, that was. If they found more evidence or, or through it. their investigation. So I'm just kind of staying quiet about it. And yeah, um, because I'm really staying quiet to... about it. Um, you Bernie's... were getting dragged on Twitter by, by Bernie Bros. Right. They're, you're they're on calling me hypocritical for, yeah. Look how she got for ratio you know, there. and saying that I'm a fake feminist and all of this, all of this wow. stuff. And I'm still, Correct. I'm still trying desperately to, to, you know, to stand back and be sort of objective about this because mm-hmm. um, I don't want this to, you know, I, I sent the me Too tweet over two years ago. I, I, I never thought that it would be um, something that was going to, destroy innocent men right right it's funny that the <laughs> rhetoric like this comes out now you know yeah. what i'm saying I, I i think that was always because that was but, the always argument you'd hear somebody say believe women and you're like well you know man I, it's not that i don't believe women i i believe listen to women but i believe in due process so now she's taking the whole due process argument that is a, and it's trying to make it work for her now when she was completely the other way yeah back we're gonna in show a. exactly how hmm. just how completely the I other mean, way she was she's being um, hypocritical fam it's beyond hypocritical. I mean, it's it's just completely in beyond. denial. Um, she here's the thing. I believe in due process too, and there are, and there are people that lie, right? And this this has happened. I've seen it happen multiple times. Um, however, if what are you basing on Tara Reid's confession being not credible? Like, what what is the basis here? Like, the, there's this no evidence, fam. Nobody like, saw oh, it. Oh yeah, like yeah. Uh-uh. Let me just like I'm you know, silent like, about it on a let podcast. me just like be a fangirl to you, Alyssa. Like, what what evidence do you see that doesn't support what she's saying any more than what um, uh, Christine Baisley Ford said to, about Kavanaugh? I mean, the timing was the same around the same amount. It was yeah. years and years later. You can't say that. And now you're you're trying to tell me. You're trying to convince me that the mainstream media would have absolutely jumped on the story if it were more credible. Do you expect us to believe that when they completely jumped on every single thing that Donald Trump has done? Just even the things he said when he said, grab them by the the pussy. pussy. Okay, he said it. This guy's actually doing it. He's actually doing that. He did that. And and okay, forget forget that Donald Trump incident. What about the accusations? Okay, they were it was a porn star. And whatever, like none of the allegations Trump has had were as bad as the ones Biden has, not to mention Anita Hill. And everybody keeps forgetting about Anita Hill yeah, yeah, and yeah. how that was like terrible. how much power he had in that situation yeah. and how he uses power to suppress her voice. That alone yeah. should never be forgotten. Well, the QAnon people, you know, out there who protect Donald Trump will kind of point out the fact that Joe is always sniffling and touching little girls all the time. The most hands on we've seen for Donald Trump was probably that old school video of him and Epstein where he kind of rubbed a model a little bit, a Buffalo Bill cheerleader. He put his hand kind of on the side. OK. So he's been a germaphobe, so you don't see that kind of shit. So when this plays out, whether Donald Trump is as much as a pig as Joe Biden, there's just ample, ample amount of evidence out there of Joe Biden touching little girls and sniffing their hair and, and trying to kiss them on their cheek. And people just, you, we've seen so many girls pulling away. I mean, he's just going to get eaten up like in a blender. And, and, and yeah. the fact that uh, Milano wants to sit here now and just be a Monday morning quarterback when it's convenient. Yeah, it's politically expedient now to do so. She said, believe women does not mean everyone gets to accuse anyone of anything. And that's that. It means that our social mindset. Oh, oh, sorry. Societal mindset and default reaction shouldn't be that women are lying. I wanted to point out a couple things here because Alyssa has. um, Well, (laughs) This is her this is her her hi- hypocritical moment. This is during the time when it was about Trump and Kavanaugh. Yeah. She said you can't pretend to be the party of the American people and then not support a woman who comes forward with her me too story. Eh, not doing that anymore. Hey, real Donald Trump, listen the fuck up. I was sexually assaulted twice. Once when I was a teenager and I never a police report. It took me 30 years to tell my parents. If any survivor of sexual assault would like to add to this, please do so in the replies. The words of Me Too connected us through pain, but they also connected us to, through to our power. Today, once again, we must connect to that power. We are all Anita Hill. We are all Christina 
Christine Blasey Ford. We have the power to stop Kavanaugh. Let's get to work. We're all we're all in need of Hill today, right? Tara Reid's story is not. We're all in need of. We're all in need of Hill today, yeah. Alyssa. Sorry, fam. Go ahead. It's just it's just insane oh, to me. God. I just don't I just How don't understand. Critical um, man. And and Rose McGowan had something to say about Alyssa Milano because Rose McGowan. <laughs> Had zero problem telling her. And, you know, I watched Charm at one point in my life. And um, J- Charm was like where Rose McGowan and uh, Alyssa Milano worked together. Mm-hmm. And Rose McGowan at the time was dating you know who? No. Who? Marilyn Manson. Oh, interesting. Yeah. He's a smart guy. Interesting. Um, and she said, you are a fraud. This is all about holding the media accountable. You go. You go go after Trump and Kavanaugh saying believe victims you are a lie you have always been a lie the corrupt DNC is in the smear job of Tara Reid is in on the smear is in on the smear job of Tara Reid so are you shame and um yeah she said she also said on on a show right are you gonna play that probably let me I don't uh, know I don't okay she said it she said she goes I don't believe her she's a fraud she's married to a CAA agent you know what I'm saying like yeah. she talked about that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She said, she said Which that I met before. Dave before, and Dave seems like an amazing guy. But you know, I don't go to work with him, and some of the people he breaks bread bread with at CAA, uh, he he could play good hockey, uh, on real hockey, not on the sticks. But uh, I mean, you know, some of his friends, Alyssa's ex, Michael Kives, questionable thing with these people, whatnot. So it doesn't. I don't. I don't doubt all this stories from all these people. One minute for one minute, I wouldn't doubt them because you know all these people they think they can do who the hell what the hell they want. Yeah, man. one person that's gotten a lot of, uh, of flack is Brianna Joy Gray, and so has Nina Turner. By the way, of course they happen to me to women of color. It's interesting. They they erase them uh, as if they're not even uh, they're you know they're called Bernie Bros. They're not even called females anymore. Women. Um, so she said yesterday a Warren surrogate shared an alt right meme. Uh, denigrating black female Bernie staffers, which, again, these are the people that have been coming after her. And today's Biden surrogate is sharing fake news from Ben Shapiro. Allowing bigotry and misinformation in our party diminishes our ability to distinguish Dems from Trump come the fall. And she had lied, saying that Bernie suggested he will he would not have shut down travel to the U.S. amid coronavirus outbreak. And of course, this 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 ended up not being true. And um. Like she completely took it out of context. She's really getting ratioed and she's just attacking Bernie Sanders. And it's funny to me how much she's attacking Bernie Sanders because Bernie Sanders him. isn't even attacking. Yeah, she used to support him, but he's not even attacking Joe Biden at all. Like he has never even said a single word to the dismay of many of his supporters. Why haven't you addressed the Tara Reid situation? Right. Like he's not even saying anything. This is why it doesn't matter that he behaves a certain way. Because they're going to treat him like this, whether he says f- floral, wonderful things about Biden or whether he doesn't. So you might as well tell the truth about Joe yeah. Biden because it's not helping you one bit to stay silent, especially when he's these people are attacking people like Brianna Joy Gray, people like Nina Turner, a, a lot of the, the supporters, you know. And then, Couldn't, of course, when know. AOC goes on The View, she pretty much validates the Bernie bro narrative. Once again, she bought into the whole CAA establishment. Remember, mm-hmm. like, you know, all these guys in CAA, they were big, big. Michael Kives, too, as well. Big, big Hillary Clinton supporters, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, not just, I mean, donated money. A lot of the people in that whole field, you know, you what, what's his, his name? What's his name? The, uh, the, the actor, George Clooney, mm-hmm. you know, CAA guy. Um, so she bought into that whole get in line and do what's right. 